PCI 4.0 has been released, and there are many changes to be aware of as it relates to the old standard, PCI 3.2.1. Many of the requirement numbers have been moved around, and there's new language, such as instead of calling it antivirus, now it's called anti-malware. But some of the significant changes that I've noticed are centered around a risk analysis. Over and over throughout all of the requirements, it will refer back to your risk analysis, that you have to leverage that in order to determine frequency of things and how you address certain things. I think this is a great change because it allows you as an organization who has unique issues and controls and threats to define those things according to your risk analysis. Uh, there's no longer the option of doing manual web application security reviews. They have a requirement for you to have a tool in place, such as a web application firewall, in order to detect and protect against the threats that are facing your applications. Uh, they talk about managing vulnerabilities. You used to have to address the high and critical vulnerabilities, but now they want you to have a method to manage all the vulnerabilities that you get from the scans that you perform. And so these things are going to be based on how you approach it according to your risk analysis. Many of the things that I've mentioned are considered best practice until March 31st, 2025. But don't wait until then. Start striving for these best practices now and use PCI 4.0 as your standard to approach your security and compliance.